So I just did a session on what everybody in the newsroom should know about security for journalists. Um, the first message I want people to hear is journalism is a high-risk profession. We have a lot of confidential material. We have sources who can really get in trouble, uh, you know, arrested or killed in some cases if we're doing reporting in conflict zones. So you are a target. Uh, unfortunately, journalists aren't really acting like they're targets at this point, and so that's, that's what we're trying to change. There's a lot of very simple stuff that you can do. So first of all, use good passwords. A lot of people use password or one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, that's ridiculous. Use a real password. Um, don't use the same password on multiple sites because then if someone gets your password off one site, if they manage to break it or they, you, you give them something and the password leaks out, then they have everything. Especially beware of your email password because if they have that, they can reset all the other ones. Uh, we spent a lot of time as well on phishing attacks. A phishing attack, that's with a PH for some reason, is when uh, I send you an email that says, here, click this link. And uh, maybe that email looks like it came from a colleague. Um, uh, so you click the link, and very often what you get is a fake login page that tricks you into giving up login to your webmail or your Facebook or something. And the way to make sure you don't give someone uh, a give your password to a fake login page is you got to read the URL up at the top. Um, so if you think you're logging into Facebook, it has to say facebook.com. If it says, you know, facebook1.com or uh, facebook.site88.com or something, it's fake. You got to be suspicious of, of sort of generic emails that ask you to log in, um, emails that don't have anything specific to you. This is the number one way that uh, journalists uh, get hacked, and this is what caused the AP Twitter hack, this is what caused the Washington Post hacks. Um, the final thing I want to talk about is uh, the physical security of your data. So you got to ask the question, how many copies do I have? Where are they? Do If I have a photograph that I copied to my laptop, is it still on the card in the camera? Because then they don't need to break into my laptop to get it, they can just steal my camera. If I'm crossing a border, uh, are customs people going to seize my camera or even just take it away and bring it back? So you have to ask how many copies, where are they? One very simple thing you can do is just encrypt your whole drive. So anyways, it starts from there, it gets a little more complicated. These are things that everybody should be doing. Use good passwords, be suspicious of phishing emails, keep track of where your data is and encrypt your laptop. From there, if you're working on a particular story, you need a plan. You have to understand who is trying to uh, get into your data, how they can do it, um, how you can stop them, and uh, what the risks are if they succeed. Um, but those three things, passwords, phishing, encrypting your drive, are things that every journalist should be doing. So I'm about to post the slides, so you can look at my Twitter feed. ONA is going to link to it as well. Uh, the Committee to Protect Journalists has a good uh, information security guide up as well. Highly recommended.